if you're an attorney or a private investigator or anybody involved with legal disputes or contract disputes, we have a survey for you. We'd like to get your feedback on this and you can put your comments below. This has to do with any type of conflict that rises to the level of either litigation, contemplated litigation, or other types of dispute resolution. The question is as follows. If you're in that kind of a conflict, where does mediation come up in the process? And here's your options. Option number one is mediation is never considered. Never, You never bring it up. Nobody ever brings it up. It's not really a factor. Option number two is you as a professional, maybe an attorney, want to do mediation, but your client doesn't. Meaning you want it, client doesn't want it. Option number two is the client wants to do mediation, but you don't think it's a good idea. Option number four is you want it, the client wants it, but the other party doesn't want it. Other side doesn't want it at all. And then if there's other options like, you know, the other side wants it, but you don't, or the court requires it, you can put those messages below. But what we're trying to find out is what are the obstacles to a third party mediator or facilitator to assist with resolution of a conflict, whether it's a full-blown litigation, contemplated litigation, discussions, demand letters, that kind of a thing. Where does mediation come into the conversation? And if it doesn't go to a mediation, why not? Does the client not want to do it? Do you not want to suggest it? Do you don't think it's valuable? Does the other side not like the idea? Uh, where does mediation come up? So comments below and thoughts on it as well will be very helpful and much appreciated.